Little Christmas. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. Are you riding? See? My hair looks like a giant penis. <laughs> That's better. Is that better? Come up here, boy. <laughs> there he is. No, he's not gonna like that. No, he doesn't mind it. Filming already? Yeah, it's filming. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He's not gonna be able to. Poor. Can fart. Poor. You just pushed a fart out of him. <laughs> <laughs> First Ruby, and then Holly will, and then I will. No. Porters. Merry Christmas. You can't see me. Oh, okay, Ruby, Ruby come, back. come back. Come back. Three, two, one. Merry Christmas. Bye. So we are back with the second edition of Bike Riding Storytime. I hope to invest in a better looking book moving into the future, but that is beside the point. In this video, I'm gonna share with you an incredible story of giving. This event happened just before Christmas time, last year, 2018. And this story comes from a man called Robert, who lives in the magnificent Bayside area of Melbourne. According to Robert, this is a story of true mateship, the fair dinkum stuff that brings a tear to a grown man's eye. And it's a story that was founded on a love of road cycling just over a decade ago. About 15 years ago, via a routine blood test, Robert found out he had a type of kidney disease called IgA nephropathy. It's a disease that may have been triggered from a pretty standard childhood illness. Robert knows what some of you may be thinking. He must be unhealthy, overweight, or unfit. Maybe there was a period of his life when he did not look after himself. But here's the thing, Robert has never smoked, he can't call himself a drinker, and he's always eaten well. He's always been lean, exercised, there's no family history of kidney disease, or diabetes, or high blood pressure. You get the picture, Robert's a healthy man that looks after himself. An interesting fact for you about kidneys before we continue with this story. Did you know that you could lose up to 90% of your kidney function and not feel it? Did you know that kidneys regulate your blood pressure and are responsible for filtering waste products, excess water and impurities out of the blood? Here's the punchline. Did you know that kidney disease kills more Australians than breast and prostate cancer and even road trauma? Part of Robert's makeup is to always try and focus on what he can control. He told himself that he just kept on pedaling and he made himself fitter and healthier, that he would not become one of the one in four with IgA that will experience chronic kidney failure. Even the doctors agreed that Robert's risk profile was low and by monitoring his kidney function and staying in regular contact with the sensational specialist at the Alfred Hospital, that he should grow into an old man and not be one of the one in four. So he started setting goals to become even healthier and fitter through road cycling, tackling some of the biggest Grand Fondo events Australia has to offer. Robert shared his love of road cycling and ambitions with a great friend of his by the name of Joe, who wasn't happy with his fitness and well-being when they first met. That was many years ago now, and the rest is history, as Robert was an influential factor in getting Joe into road cycling. In fact, Joe became what Robert describes as a fellow mammal, which is a middle-aged man in Lycra, and over the past several years, he's had to come to grips with how well he's improved, how fit he's become, and the physical and mental well-being that he's gained from the activity of road cycling. In fact, according to Robert, Joe has become one of the strongest riders in a group of regulars that attend a bunch ride in their local area in Melbourne. Let me just pause for a second here. How bloody magnificent is the activity of road cycling? Anyway, back to the story. Ultimately, Joe and Robert forged a special bond through road cycling. In recent years, they have experienced many cycling challenges together, climbing some of the biggest mountains the Tour de France has to offer, as well as tackling some of the most gruelling events in Australia, including the Peaks Challenge ride. Robert claims that in their rides together, Joe has shown him that giving up is not an option and pedaling until the finish is the only way to ride. In 2017, Robert needed to face reality. He was shaping up to be one of the one in four that would experience total kidney failure. It was just bad luck, according to Robert. Then in 2018, which is last year, 
Robert had to face dialysis if he could not find a kidney donor. It was more bad luck for Robert when he discovered that all of his close relations, wife, five siblings, etc., were not able to be donors. Preparation for dialysis began. However, when Robert shared the update with Joe, Joe said, I have been waiting to see what transpired here, mate. And given the circumstances, I want to donate my kidney to you. He then went on to say, there is no way I'm letting my riding buddy go through dialysis. I need you to keep peddling with me. Joe went and got tested. They were a match. The rest is history. Robert describes he will never forget the day, how blessed he felt and how amazing it was that a mate and also a father of three with the total support of his wife Effie would do this for him. The transplant between Joe and Robert happened on the 17th of December 2018 and both men were home with their families just before Christmas this time last year. Their recoveries were fast, they were back into the swing of life within four weeks and then back pedaling together again after six weeks, setting themselves some big goals again and no bigger than one that is coming up in 2020, that being Robert is taking Joe to the Giro d'Italia riding together in a 13 day bicycle tour. Sounds bloody magnificent. Robert writes, Joe changed the course of my life. He did the most selfless act a human being could do and just for one of his many riding buddies. Saying thank you will never be enough and it's impossible to reciprocate, but the Italian bike tour is the best I can do and it's very symbolic. A special thank you goes out to the amazing doctors, surgeons, nurses, consultants and executives at the Alfred for their brilliance. This is a beautiful, inspiring and feel good story Robert wanted to share. He says, I hope it lifts your spirit in humanity and love. We hear a lot about the negative news in the world these days, but there is so much good news and very special people like Joe out there, and we should shout those stories from the rooftop. This was mine. Thank you for sharing, Robert. You're an absolute bloody legend, Joe, and I'll catch everyone in the next video.